Hi everybody, this video is about hook functionality and spacing for handling school backpacks and coats on a daily basis. To help everyone visualize, I'm going to use my own mudroom hooks, which are plenty tall and deep, but not adequate in that each hook only has one spot to hang things, as opposed to two or three like these examples here. Let's start out by backing up. Why are we discussing this? When parents escort kids into school and they put their things away to prepare for the day, it is important that, number one, each kid can reach the hook without help or a stool. Two years ago, my son felt embarrassed because he needed a stool to hang and access his coat every day for recess, and he was the only kid in his class that needed one. I think we can agree that lowering the hooks enough so that no children are feeling insecure about themselves is ideal. Number two, what goes hand Hand in hand with that is ensuring the hooks are at least high enough off the ground so they can put the rain boots underneath without the coat draping over them, making the inside of their coats wet and muddy at the bottom. Number three is to talk about depth. Depth in the hook so that coats don't fall on the floor. What has happened in the past with small hooks is that kids try to stack their two coats on top of one another and the hooks aren't deep enough so the coats fall on the floor and the kids step on them because they're kids. And at the end of the day, the parents picking up their kids are presented with unnecessary chaos trying to round up missing coats that end up in the lost and found or a coat that is now suddenly muddy that wouldn't have been had it remained on the hook. So having a deep enough hook is paramount to preventing issues that would simply disappear with the right hardware. When parents deal with the coat thing day after day, it becomes an exhausting daily struggle that parents actually talked about in the hallway when they were waiting to pick up their kids. And this is totally avoidable. This doesn't have to be a struggle. Lastly, we'll talk about width. That's the horizontal spacing. When kids are asked to bring a raincoat to school specifically that lives there all the time, and they wear an additional coat to and from school daily, the most basic cheap hooks are not deep enough to support two coats, let alone anything additional, like a plastic bag with wet playground clothes that needs to go back home, their backpack, or any supplies. When you initially mount your hooks with the right spacing, it will look like you're spacing them out too far. But in fact, when we measure the width of a child's coat hanging with the width of a backpack hanging, you'll see how much distance needs to be between each hook. Remember, you're not hanging this hook just for now. You're ideally hanging it where it will live for the long hauls. We don't want to add unnecessary additional holes in the wall. So these hooks need to accommodate the needs of older children or younger children in case the room changes its use in the future. My recommendation is to use hooks with a minimum of two prongs, ideally three, per unit with an extra deep option to decrease the amounts of clothes on the ground. This gives one hook for the raincoat that lives at school, one hook for the backpack or bag of wet clothes that gets sent back home, and one hook for the coat that comes to and from school every day. If you're not a detailed person by nature, I can understand how this sort of minutia seems eye roll worthy, but with the right hooks and the right spacing, this can lessen frustrations of parents for years to come, lessen the number of kids feeling embarrassed that they can't reach the hooks like their classmates can, and lessen the chaos in the comings and goings of school and recess. When we have the opportunity for removing stress by slowing down and considering details like this, it will pay off in countless ways for years to come.